بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم روشن علی ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو ریفرنس مینجمنٹ یوزنگ زوٹیرو سو واٹ از زوٹیرو اٹس اے ٹول اور سافٹ ویئر وچ از یوزڈ فار مینجمنٹ آف ریفرنسز ان یور ڈاکومنٹس سچ ایز تھیسز آرٹیکلس بکس ایٹسیٹرا آئی ہو already made two videos on the use of endnote and mendeley all these three are uh, reference managers there are many other reference managers available on the uh, internet okay uh, what is the difference among endnote mendeley and zotero the main difference is that endnote is a commercial software while mendeley and zotero are available for free The choice of which one to use depends on your preferences and needs. Okay, now let's start our today's lesson about Zotero. The first step uh, is always to go to the relevant website. For example, uh, here we will go to Zotero website, download it, uh, and then we will install uh, the software according to the instructions. Open your browser, type www.zotero.org and then hit enter. This is the download button, click here. Now you can download your Zotero 5 for Windows by clicking this option. Just click this option, your download will start in a moment. After the download is completed, uh, just click on the icon and follow the instructions. Once the installation is completed, you can use your uh, Zotero software for your reference management. The second thing you should install is the uh, browser connectors. You can install uh, browser connectors for different browsers. As you can see, this connector is for the Chrome browser. Just click this uh, button and then follow the instructions your uh, um, connector will be installed uh, it will appear uh, here on your browser this is the uh, connector for manly but mainly people call it web importer our zotero people call their uh, web importer as uh, web connector or browser connector you can install Uh, browser connectors for other browsers such as Firefox uh, etc from here just click this button you will find uh, web connectors or browser connectors for different uh, browsers so what is the function of this uh, connector the connector helps you import references from different websites such as Google Scholar PubMed and many other websites that contain uh, references or publications you just have to click this button and whatever references you like select them and uh, all those references will be imported into your uh, Zotero library the color of this uh, connector changes to yellow uh, when uh, some articles references appear on the page otherwise it remains gray now let's start our tutorial I have divided the tutorial into four main steps. One thing here you should remember is uh, that Zotero uh, calls references as items and they call their sub-libraries or subfolders as collections. In the first step of my tutorial, I will tell you how to create folders or collections in your uh, Zotero. Then I will tell you about four different methods of importing references from different sources into your library. That is from websites, from PDFs, by the identifier of the reference, and lastly the manual entry. In my third step, I will show you how we insert references in our documents through Zotero and then the insertion of bibliography in the last step i will uh, tell you how to change the style of your references 
so now let's go to our first step that is creation of a folder why do we create collections so that we may arrange our references into groups according to our needs first open your zotero the folders shown in brown colors are the libraries or you can also call them groups these yellow color folders are called collections in zotero's language to create a collection simply click this option name your collection for example phd thesis and then hit this enter here is the new collection we just created as you can see this collection is empty now there are no references inside this collection our second step is to bring references into our zotero library as you can see there are uh, four different methods of uh, putting references into the zotero library first of which is uh, uh, from uh, different websites through the browser connector so let's try this one first open your browser go to google scholar now search for your desired uh, articles by entering some keywords as you can see the color of this icon has changed uh, to yellow which means that uh, references are available on the page simply click this yellow folder icon and you will see that all the references available on the page has appeared in this uh, box you just have to select desired references among these for example i have selected these four references and then click ok all these four references now will be available in your zotero library as you can see that our uh, selected references are being saved in our library this has already downloaded now the second method is to import references from PDF files. For this purpose, open in the folder containing PDF files. You just need to drag and drop these PDF files onto your Zotero library. Now go to your Zotero. Just drag one of these files onto your Zotero library. Here is the reference I just imported by dragging the PDF file onto my Zotero library. The third method is importing references by its identifier. Open your Zotero, click this identifier option. You can import references by ISBN number, DUI, or PubMed ID. Let's copy a PubMed ID from PubMed website. Copy this PubMed ID. Click here. Paste your PubMed ID here and hit enter. The reference is here. The last method is manual entry. For entering references manually, click this new item icon select type of source for example i select here journal article just type in few of these required fields type in your title of the article the tarot tutorial step by step now we will enter author names for entering uh, other names, you will have to enter last name first and first name last. For example, Ali Roshan. If you want to uh, enter another author name, just click this plus icon. 
last name you can also paste abstract here now we will enter journal name in the publication field enter volume number issue page numbers year of publication and that's it your reference is completed this is the reference we just entered manually now let's insert some of references into this document to insert a reference you will have to click on the place where you want to insert your reference for example i want to insert my first reference at the end of this sentence then just click here then go to your zotero menu on your word document sorry i forgot to tell you about uh, how i uh, integrated my zotero in the word document i will talk about this step later at the end of this video let me put this step as our first step Zotero add in for word so I was talking about inserting references into this document for example I want to insert my first reference here at the end of this statement just click add citation select your desired style click ok search for your desired reference by entering some keyword for example hemoglobin then select the reference you want to insert and hit enter your first reference is inserted now let's insert our second reference over here again click add citation type your keyword to search for the references now select the references you want to insert here for example i am going to select this reference if you want to insert another reference at the same place then you will have to search for the references again for example this is the second reference i want to insert here click enter here are the two references i just inserted now let me insert some more references here click add citation search for uh, references by year you can search references by year by some keywords from the journal uh, from the article's title or you can also search references by entering the journal name now select your reference now search for another reference by typing a journal name select this reference now search for a third reference by typing some keyword from the title select your desired reference and click enter the references are now inserted over here as you can see at the end of this document no bibliography has been inserted yet to insert your bibliography you will have to click at the place where you want to insert your bibliography for example i want to insert my bibliography at this place in the document then you will have to click add bibliography here is the bibliography our bibliography is now inserted at the end of the document now you can put a caption for the bibliography references make it bold to change the style of your references go to zotero menu again click document preferences select your desired style and click ok the style is now changed if your desired style uh, is not available in the uh, document preferences then click on manage styles click get additional styles 
there are 8762 styles available from where you can select your desired styles if you want to search for some styles you can type the name of the style for example Howard style select one of these Howard styles for example Emerald Howard click on it and your desired style is available now in your Zotero go to document preferences again click on the newly downloaded style click OK and your references are now in Emerald Howard style now let me tell you about the step I forgot that is uh, adding the Zotero icon into your uh, word menu to add this icon go to your uh, Zotero click edit references word processor when you open your uh, Zotero for the first time you will see here install Microsoft Word add-in just click that icon and your Microsoft Word add-in uh, will be installed so that was all about today's tutorial of reference management using Zotero software my next video will be about using latex for writing your articles and bibtex for your reference management thank you for watching bye